Today on Zoom, hello up there. <laughs> Wanna learn how to make stuff like these? <laughs> Good job, Mike. <laughs> now we're gonna use these liquids to make rockets. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I wanna talk to your manager. Okay, the manager's on that side of the store. for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's Investment in the Future, and by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, the Arthur Binding Davis Foundation, the Wheezy Foundation, the Tucker Gosnell Family Foundation, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. From Bouchertown, Massachusetts. Yay! Get ready to Yay! Yay! Alright! Woohoo! Play ball! Play ball, better, better. You can do it! Let's go! Come on, you got it! Come on! Alright! Come on, King! Come on, Zoomer! Let's hit that ball! <laughs> by. Actually, drop there just what we need for this next race. Email to us by Anthony P. of Blackwood, New Jersey. Oh, it's called Water Fun. Here's what you'll need to play. Two straws, one for each player. Two long sheets of wax paper. Two cups of water. We dyed ours different colors with food coloring so that we'd be able to see it better and tape, and two eyedroppers. Now, you want to take your wax paper and lay it out along a smooth, flat surface, like our table here. Then, you want to take your eyedropper, like this, and drop one or two drops, two is good, onto your wax paper. Whichever player can blow their drop of water across the length of the wax paper first wins. Okay. All right, you ready, Jared? Okay. Yep. Let's watch. One, two, three, go. Wow. Ooh, that's weird how Ooh, they Gary, like, just go. go. Ooh. It's cool. It looks cool because they're not leaving, like, any residue behind. I mean, watch that. that. Yeah. It's really cool. Oh, man, I can't go that there. fast. There it is. different people? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, ready, set, go. Oh. Oh. Now you need to blow them back. Sort of just try to get them back together a little bit. Yeah, blow that down the There you go. Ooh. Oh, man, you guys are good. Oh. Separating. Oh, oh. No. oh. I think <laughs> was. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh. Try, to blow, try to blow them back together. Yeah. Not to blow as hard. Whoa! Oh, 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 mine went off my cord. Cool. <laughs> oh, 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 wow! If your drop separates, you 
have to blow it back together. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, Wait, ready? Can ready? Ready? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go! Careful in your right room, I'm like, you guys are blowing in a toxic time. Oh! You have to blow it back Try together. to get it back together. Oh, cool. it's hard. Look at the little bee. to the bone. Mm, I don't know. I dig you. <laughs> <laughs> you get a Gandhi because he did great things for his people. Zoom do. Hey Mike. Hello. <laughs> Wanna learn how to make silk like these? Well, Daniel of Ohio emailed us the idea for this zoom do. Right. Okay, put these away. So here's what you'll need. Okay. Two large empty cans. And we're using the kind of cans that tomatoes came in and we took off the labels and decorated them. Mm -hmm. A type of can opener that pokes holes into the top of cans, like this one. Some rope or heavy string. And some scissors. Okay, so here's what you'll do. First take the lids or tops off your cans. Okay. And we're using empty cans so the tops have already been cut off. But if you're going to empty your cans, then you're going to need this type of can opener to take the tops off. And if you're not allowed to use this type of can opener, you might want to ask an adult to help you. Okay. And if your cans have food in them, then store the food in an extra container. Okay. Oh. So, ours have already been cut off. So then take this type of can opener on opposite end of the can, like this. So you just hook it on and then push yeah. down. And then, and then just push down. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And then just on the other side. Yeah. And then do it to both cans? Yeah. Okay. And then do it to both cans? Yeah. Okay. Oh, now what? So then you will take your string, mm -hmm. and you're going to need to cut two pieces. But to make sure that it's long enough, you're going to loop it under your foot and hold the ball roll a string in your hand and make sure it goes up to your hip. A hip. And then cut it. Okay. With scissors? Mm-hmm. And then... And then cut another piece of string that's the same length. Right. Right. Then what? Okay. Mm -hmm. Two. Right. Then pull one end of one string through the holes in the can. Okay. And it's easy if you stick your hand inside the can and pull it through and out. Okay. One. I'm having a little bit of help. <laughs> they want me to hold it. Okay. And then do the same thing with the other string and can. strings together or you can just hold them in your hand and then you're ready to use your stilts. That's quick. Now you have to zoom to this one. Short and simple. Just the way we like it. Woo! Good job Mike. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna walk them like it. I'm gonna have it. Oh well at least they're stilts. <laughs> Aren't these cool? 
If you want instructions for other Zoom do's, go to the Zoom website at pbskids.org. These are so cool. Hey, singing. Oh, hi, Caroline. How is a dog like a telephone? I have no idea. It had caller ID. <laughs> especially fiddling and bagpipes. There isn't really a lot of material stuff to do in Cape Breton. Not everybody here has satellite TV or computers. It isn't really like we're missing anything, cause, because really, we're happy. We like, we like our ways. <laughs> what we do for fun here is play music. I like playing with my family and my friends. Especially my friends in the Cotters. That's the band that I'm in. In the Cotters, I sing. I step dance. I play the tin whistle. I play the baron. This is a Celtic drum. It's called a baron. And it's very popular in Ireland, Scotland, and Cape Breton. This is a Cape Breton drum. It's made of goat skin. Goat skin stretched over wood. And they've been very popular for many years. But, of course, not popular among the goats. Um, a lot of the older people speak it. It's a great tradition. I can speak a little bit. <laughs> We're having a Kaylee at my house tonight. A Kaylee is actually a Gaelic word which means visit. Only it's a visit where everyone brings instruments and tells stories. Uh, a Kaylee really is where everybody's invited to come and play or sing or just clap along. primarily Highland Scots, and that's where we inherited our music from. This particular style of Celtic music mainly exists in Cape Breton today. When I'm playing my music, um, whether it's in the kitchen or whether it's on the stage, it always gives me this lift of excitement. So if you ever get the urge to go traveling, come up to Cape Breton. But be sure to bring an instrument. Seesaw, a poem written by Patricia Kay of Santee, California. Up and down, up and down. It sure is fun to bump around. Atop a piece of painted wood. With handlebars, if you should. Oh no, oh dear, where's my friend? She must have jumped off the other end. What shall I do? I cannot jump. I'm crashing with a big loud bump. Well, I guess everyone has their own flaw. Mine was obviously working a seesaw. <laughs> Do you remember when Caroline and Garrett made rockets powered by carbon dioxide? That was I know. so awesome. They added lemon juice to baking soda and were able to produce carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas. See the bubbles? As more carbon dioxide formed, the pressure built up inside the bottle and the cork went flying. Oh, cool. Cool. After watching this, lots of Zoomers experimented with baking soda rockets at home. Kyle of Michigan used lime juice. 
and Michael of Georgia used tomato juice. We're going to test both these liquids and also grapefruit juice. There's one teaspoon of baking soda in each of the cups. We're going to pour a cup and a quarter of the grapefruit juice, the lime juice, and the tomato juice to each cup. We want to find out two things. We want to see which liquid makes the most bubbles. And we also want to see which one has the fastest reaction time, meaning how fast the bubbles rise in the cup. So, okay. like, I think for tomato juice, I don't think, I don't think it's going to go fast. Oh, it might be too thick. Yeah, I think it's too thick, actually. And for reaction time, it might be pretty slow. Yeah. So, so wow. for the lime juice, this is sweet lime juice. But yeah. I don't think it's going to make a difference. You? It, it might. We could it see. might. I don't know. Grapefruit juice? Yeah. Grapefruit juice? Uh, I think because it's I like... I don't know. It's kind of weird. Citrus? Well, we well, don't know because well, we're just... Yeah. This could get a little bit messy, so I'm going to pull on a tray. All right. Okay, let's yeah. start with the uh, grape, I mean tomato. Yeah, sure, we'll try the tomato. Alright, right here. Ooh, we'll try to stick it in. Yeah, it's definitely moving. It's not doing anything. Oh, look, look at the size. Yeah. Maybe, it's maybe the like baking soda and he's trying to get up because it's so thick. So, do you want to try something else? Yeah. Okay. Lime juice. Sweet lime juice. Alright. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. That was <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That is amazing. That was pretty fast. Wow, that was really fast. That was definitely very fast. Right as we dropped some it, it has a it, lot it, 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 See, it's still going. It's still it's, going. It, it just keeps coming well, and coming. Well, it's tomato juice. Yeah, it's tomato juice. kind of white. Maybe after a while, it's probably going to have a lot more stuff. So. Yeah, okay. Let's try grapefruit juice. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. That went really fast, too. This one had... It doesn't have as many bubbles. Yeah. Like, this one's really thick. This one's kind of... Kind of thin. So, for, so for tomato, tomato juice, juice looked, it went really slow. It but, went really slow. You know, the baking soda kind of is it's coming, coming up. It's coming up. I think it's because it's so thick. It's yeah, kind of it's, it's being hard really to slow. Up. But these are really thin. So, like... Especially the lime juice. The lime so juice, like, it's it just shot kind of up. And, but now, look how... Oh, my goodness. Now, now it's, it's really thin. going down. I think yeah. the bubbles are really thin. It kind of looks like froth, if you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's kind of bubbles. So... So, this one made the most bubbles. Do you think it went the fastest? No, I think, I think that, that one, one went, went the fastest. fastest. This one made the most bubbles slowest. I think this one came up faster because the bubbles yeah. were bigger. But in reality, I think that one went up faster. All right. So, so let's, let's see. see. Highest um, definitely. lime juice. Definitely, yeah. Right? So, lime juice, highest. Lowest? Lowest, okay. tomato. Definitely tomato. Mm -hmm. And... Um, medium. The lime. Grapefruit juice. So for reaction time, I'd say fastest grapefruit. Yeah. And then lime. Yeah. Medium. So lime is low. medium. Yeah. Lowest tomato. So. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Okay. That was cool. Now we're going to use these liquids to make rockets. We know that lime juice made the most bubbles. And that tomato juice took the most time to bubble. This is why a hypothesis is that lime juice will launch the rocket the highest, and that tomato juice will take the most time to launch. Okay, let's put on our safety goggles and start testing. You'll probably want to do this outside because these rockets can make a mess. All right, so uh, I'll keep putting the baking soda and then I'll watch how high it goes, and then okay. you can cork. Okay. All right. It might take a little while. Yeah, so. Let's just wait. I think it'll go. Okay. Now I'll shake it. <laughs> Whoa. 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 I don't think it's working. I think it's because it's so, like, thick. So Put I this think aside and then the try it out. Yeah. Alright, so let's try lime juice. Okay. It's not on time now. That was awesome. That was so cool. So you want to try a great okay, so, oh my God. Uh, 
Okay, I'll cork it. This one had the most bubbles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time fastest, fastest was, was the grapefruit. grapefruit, yeah, and, and then medium, lime, juice. and lowest. If you look at it, look at tomato, it's always Potatoes been always lowest. Low. But the lime and the grapefruit kept on switching. Highest, medium, highest, medium, medium, so fastest, highest. These two, fastest. the lime juice definitely was the highest for both, and the cotton yeah. and in that. Mm -hmm. But the grapefruit juice was medium here, and this was highest. So, you yeah. remember when we like. The lime juice, I don't think we put the cork on tight enough. Yeah, we that did. Might so have, that might have been the reaction time yeah, thing. So yeah. Might have been. So, might have yeah. Been. yeah. We couldn't get our tomato juice rockets to work, but maybe you can, using different amounts of tomato juice and baking soda. Try this at home and then send your results to Zoom. <laughs> Caroline. Why do you have to be careful when training cats and dogs? I don't know. Because you might step in a poodle. <laughs> 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 like a poodle to dog. Do it into action! <laughs> <laughs> Meet George and Samuel, two brothers who volunteer to help people in their community. Do it into action! During the holiday season, these members of the Zoom team give turkeys to families who need them. George and Samuel feel fortunate that they always have food in their kitchen, so they want to help children who might not. First, they get turkeys with their dad at the store. Then, they load them all into a truck. Next, they go to the local urban league where families can come get a turkey. People that we're helping and the people that we need. If you want to be a member of the Zoom team but need some help getting started, Check out the Zoom into Action section of the Zoom website at pbskids.org. You'll find all sorts of ideas about how to volunteer. Zoom into Action! Join the Zoom team! Hi, fellow Zoomers. We hope you enjoy today's performance of Too Late, Too Early. Inspired by Aaron and Bretta Kay of Westfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, the same cashier from over there. I want 
to buy this shirt. Okay, miss. That'll be eleven ninety-five, please. Now wait just a second. This shirt is on sale, and you didn't take fifty percent off. That's because the sale just ended. It's one minute after five. Sorry, you missed the sale. Next time you shouldn't be so slow. This is ridiculous. I want to talk to your manager. Okay, the manager's on that side of the store. Thank you. This store is a little wacky. I mean, a time zone. Give me a break. On this side of the store, I am the manager. Oh, oops! I'm sorry. We can't answer your question. We close at six. Oh. Some people. Ugh. Hey, want to sneak a peek behind the scenes of Zoom? Well, you can take a virtual tour of the Zoom set in the Studio Z section of the Zoom website at pbskids.org or America Online, keyword PBS Kids. become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print material, and in other media. So, send it to Zoom. Zoom? Want to sneak a peek behind the scenes of Zoom? Take a virtual tour of the Zoom set in the Section Z studio of the... Hey, wanna take a peek? Well, you can find lots of tips and information on volunteering at the Zoom website. <laughs> Funding for Zoom is provided by... The National Science Foundation. America's investment in the future. And by... The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people. The Arthur Binding Davis Foundation. The Weezy Foundation. The Tucker Gosno Family Foundation. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Yeah!